Australian scientists are world class. We know so much about how we restore landscapes, repair coral reefs and recover threatened species. We've got thousands of volunteers out there every weekend planting trees, collecting rubbish and cleaning up their local creek, many of them through community land care groups. Australians really care about the landscapes they live in and about the precious places that they'll never visit but want protected anyway. They just need a government that cares as much as they do, which is why in this term of government, I will be guided by three essential goals. To protect, to restore and to manage Australia's environment. We need to protect our environment and heritage for the future. We need to restore environments that have already been damaged. And we need to actively manage our landscapes, oceans and waterways and the critical places that we've vowed to protect so they don't become run down through neglect. That's our agenda. To offer proper protection, we need to set clear environmental standards with explicit targets around what we value as a country and what our laws need to protect. This will require a fundamental reform of our national environmental laws and empowering a new environmental protection agency to enforce them. We need trust and transparency Decisions need to be built on good data to show the public how we're tracking in real time, data that can be shared so we don't keep collecting the same information again and again, but instead we build over time a useful, usable, rich picture of our environment. We also need certainty and efficiency. This will allow us to speed up most processes so we can build new housing, construct renewable energy projects, lay the roads that connect our communities, better environmental outcomes and faster, clearer decisions. For too long, people have seen these goals as mutually exclusive. They're not. They're not. Good environmental law is also good economic reform. That's why, by agreement with the Treasurer, the historic wellbeing budget will also include environmental indicators. As the Treasurer said recently, it's really important that we measure what matters in our economy, in addition to all of the traditional measures, not instead of, but in addition to. Because this is not a conflict between jobs and the environment. We have got to go beyond that thinking when we reform our environmental laws. To help guide that change, I'm announcing that by the end of the year, the Australian Government will formally respond to the Samuel Review. We'll then develop new environmental legislation for 2023. We'll consult thoroughly on environmental standards. But in the meantime, I want to see an immediate start on improving our environmental data and regional planning establishing a shared view around what needs to be protected and restored, the areas where development can occur with minimal consequences. I'm not naive. I know that improving our environmental laws is going to be challenging. People will have very different ideas about what national environmental standards should look like. And as Minister, I will probably make some calls that some people disagree with but I am absolutely determined to improve the system. The truth is that everyone will have to give a bit to achieve real, lasting national progress. It's encouraging to know that groups with very different interests work to find common ground during the Samuel Review. Business, industry, environmentalists, scientists, traditional owners, farmers, unions, and your standard keen bushwalker like me, came to the table to see what kind of progress could be made. I want to work across the board to build on that goodwill because ambition is really important, but it's not much good without achievement. I understand that campaigns to stop individual projects will motivate and energise some people. Others will want to focus on a particular species or a particularly beautiful place. I know these campaigns can capture the public imagination. But in my judgment, 
what the environment really needs is a changed system. That's the message from the Samuel Review. That's the message from the State of the Environment report. Without structural change, we'll be resigning ourselves to another decade of failure without the tools we need to arrest our decline.